everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Amofa.o and I want to say thank you to everybody who's clicking on this video right about now and is watching this look. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my favorite red lipstick. These lipsticks, guys, I kid you not, they go with every skin color and I've used all these colors on my Mexican clients and on my Caucasian clients and on my lighter skin clients. So before we go into the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share and leave a comment for me in the comment section down below which color you think is your favorite. And if you have any red lipsticks you think I should try, leave a comment. I have so many red lipsticks but I just try to narrow it down to, let me see. I narrowed it down to only five lipsticks I'm going to be showing you and I'm going to go through different textures. So let me not talk too much and let's get straight into the video. Okay, so for this first red look that I have on my lips, this lipstick is from Ruby Roo. It is a matte red, red lipstick, uh, retro matte from MAC. I do often wear it on its own, but I love to line it also with a deep plum color. And my favorite, apart from Night Moth that comes from MAC, a cheaper version that I found, which is super good as well, is the ColourPop LRE Lip Liner. But I ran out of that. I went into our local Liverpool, which is like a Macy's, and I went to the NYX stand and I got this color called Subversive Socialite. And I think it really did the job. It's like a dark purple color line on the lips. So this is my first favorite red matte lipstick color. Waiting for it to finish so I can turn it in. You know, if you turn in your empty lipstick containers to MAC, I think it has to be a certain amount. You get a free lipstick. So keeping this for that. We're gonna clean this up and we're gonna go into the next red shade. This next red shade is Inglot 229. This is like the third time I'm buying it. Sometimes I would pair it with a plum lip liner or a burgundy lip liner. The difference between this one and the MAC Ruby Roo is the MAC Ruby Roo is really matte. It feels dry on your lips. This one makes your lips feel moisturized and soft. If you use your lipstick well, you won't need to line it like I didn't need to line my lips and I absolutely love this look. So this is 229 from Inglot. This third red lipstick is from Colourpop and it's in the name Remen. It's from the Ultra Satin Lip Line of Colourpop and this is a collaboration with LRE. Like I said, it's the name Remen. When you apply it onto your lips, it feels as if you're rubbing like a balm onto your lips. And as it stays for a bit, it does get dry, but it doesn't have that dry dry effect that the mac ruby woo does give you i love it too it is a really bright red really 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 bright red i lined it with my zaron red lip pencil okay for the fourth lipstick shade i'm going to line my lips first using the nyx copenhagen lip liner apply a little bit of lip balm. I've noticed that with my NYX lip pencils, if I apply a lip balm and it's too, the base is too slippery, the lip pencil doesn't show, so I like to apply my lip pencil before I apply the lip balm. And I'm going in with another color pop color. This is in the name Coquette, or Coquette, or Cute, or I don't know, Coquette. And it is a metallic red color with like a hint of gold in it. So with this Coquetta lip lipstick, a little goes a long way. So you notice I put on my lower lip and then I like smack my lips together to bring it up because if you put too much, it's just like way in your face. But this is another beautiful color. This Colourpop lipstick is a collaboration between Colourpop and I Love Sorry. And it's a very beautiful color too. As you can see, it has a metallic look to it. Like also like the Inglot. 229 even though the Inglot 229 formula is a lot more buttery than this one this one still makes your lips feel moisturized and it still gives you the effect that you need so I showed you with a lined lip here and the Inglot I didn't line my lips so you can see the difference there now finally for those of you out there who don't like to wear lipstick and just prefer the lip glosses, I thought 
longer and harder as to which lip gloss will give you the color payoff. After a lot of research, also to find something that was affordable for everybody, I decided to go with NYX. And the color I decided to go with is the NYX Butter Gloss Lip Gloss in the name Red Velvet. So let me take this off and apply that and that will be the last color. So this formula is very, it's not very thick but it's thick enough that you do feel as if your lips are like holding together while you have it on. It does give you the pigmentation that you need so it looks as if you have lipstick under and then you applied a gloss on top. It is really soft and moist on the lips. The only personal problem that I, Amofa, have with lip gloss is that it doesn't last for me. I need to put my lip gloss on top of lipstick, preferably a matte lipstick so that even if I do eat, there will still be something in my lips and I don't need to touch up every time I finish eating or taking a glass of something. So that's my only problem with lip glosses. So that is all for me guys. I gave you a total of five different red lip colors. Two were from Colourpop, one was from Inglot, one was from NYX. So we have a mix of both affordable and a bit high end which you would classify the Inglot and MAC as a bit of high end lipsticks. But let me know in the comment section guys which one you prefer thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to leave in the comment section which of the lipsticks you actually do prefer was it one two three four or five and i'll see you guys in my next video